Good morning. Welcome back to the Pantry Prepper. It's Amanda. I thought I'd share with you how I work on my food storage and how I work on my food storage, like for my everyday food storage, not my long-term stuff that I use every day. The first place I start out with is always the grocery sales circulars that come out on Wednesday, um, today's. And I try, and I'm trying more and more to reach out to my local stores. I'm out in the middle of nowhere takes me about 30 minutes to get anywhere, but my local Piggly Wiggly, as you can see right here, down south, is the closest thing to me. So I get their circular every week, and I love to go in there and check out the deals. And that's the first thing I do every week is to check out the deals that they have to see what I can add to my long-term, my, not my long-term storage, my short-term storage, and sometimes long-term storage too, with everyday items that we eat every day. So um, on Wednesdays, I'm going to start try a little start a little series of showing you what I have at my local store, and I'm going to do my Piggly Wiggly store because I think I'm really trying to stay away from the big box stores like Walmart and stuff like that. I do grocery pickups from them all the time, but um, I can sometimes find a lot better prices closer to home than that, and it's kind of a good way to support the um, the smaller guy. So anyway. This week, Wednesday, today is December 9th, 2020. Let me show you. I'll come in here and I've circled some stuff that I thought would be good for long-term and short-term storage. And long-term storage to me, excuse me, short-term storage to me could be um, your everyday food items as well as stuff you could put in your freezer. And the first thing I noticed right now is that they've got like whole Boston butts for $1.29. I usually get them for 99 cents a pound. That's not a bad price to you pick one of these bad boys up, put it in your crock pot, cook it all night, and have you some um, good old southern barbecue or shot as a roast or whatever. I think that is a good price right now. That's a good price for, um, let's see, our whole chickens. Of course, these at the store are too tiny. I don't care for them. That, I still think, is ridiculous. $3.99 for chuck roast. Yeah, I haven't seen, I've, I've seen it go a little bit below that, but not much. But those are some things. But here's some things like you can put inside your long-term storage. Like this week, they've got 99 cents. And these are their products. You know, if you always go for the um, house brand, you're going to get cheaper. They've got, that would be good to add to your food storage. Only if you use it, of course. Only if you use it. Um, we got 99 cents for apple juice. 99 cents for two pounds of long grain ride, white rice. Which, that's comparable to what you get at Dollar Tree. Here's their brand mac and cheese for three for a dollar. That's really good. I've never tried it. Um, we have over here, I have the, um, what is that? Their stuffing. That's 89 cents. And y'all, that's dehydrated bread. Stuffing is dehydrated seasoned bread. You could do casseroles, a lot of stuff with that um, stuff. Let's see. I know this is not something. It's just something I get every week. That's a good price for orange juice because it's usually like $3.45 at Walmart. Go over here. We've got jarred gravy. If you like that, that's $5. That's not a bad price. That's expensive to me and that's expensive to me. Okay. Yeah. And, and also guys, I'm a couponer. So some stuff I won't touch because I know I can get cheaper. Evaporated milk. That's, I guess, pretty average. Moving on to the meats that are in my area. We have, what is this? Um, spiral uh, spiral hams um a dollar 99 a pound that's not bad baking hens like i said that's 99 cents now this right here is dollar 99 for dixie crystals there's a 55 cent coupon which would make that a dollar 45 for um four pounds y'all do y'all remember when they used to be um five pounds yeah um let's see a 48 thing of oil and here's not a bad one at all vegetables 10 for 6 or 60 cents a piece. I'm not seeing them 10 for 5. I can handle adding 10 more cents on to each one, so that's not bad. Um, some good uh, items you could stock up on. At least, like I said, if you got this Piggly Wiggly, check them out online. It's your area. Let's see. We got them 2 for 5 for butter. That's not bad. Cream cheese. Uh, I know I can get this stuff cheaper. Yeah, a lot of stuff I know I can get cheaper at Walmart, but, it's close, but this right here, the pig is closer to me, so... Yeah, anyway, going on, let's see, um, $2.99 for sausage links or patties. I think that's ridiculous for the patties, I really do. But for the links, it's a very good price. And but guys, I'm going to be doing a video on canning sausage links. If any of you were 
knew my channel before, I had one on there. I love canning sausage links. They are so awesome to do. But that's not a bad price, especially because when I can sausage links, I prefer to use the Johnsonville brand. It, they just seem to hold up better. So moving on, we have Furman's um, Diced Tomatoes. This is the large can. I know a lot of people are reporting not being able to find them a lot. But my store seems to be really pretty good stocked up, especially, like I said, my, my Piggly Wiggly store is. 28 ounces, a, do a dollar piece, or five for five. You can get this huge thing of vinegar for $3.99. Water for two, $2.05. Excuse me, $2.45. Here's something just to have, you know, to add spice to your food and be good for food storage. Onion mix. They usually come with like two envelopes. They can dress up whatever it is you've got. Um, here's what I really like. Let's see. Packaged gravy, three for a dollar. That's really good. Y'all remember when they used to be like 20 cents a pack. Yeah, I'm old. Yeah. So now I'm looking down here at um, all of the cleaning supplies. Y'all, no, 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 no. If you've got a dollar general general in your area, you could do digital couponing and get that stuff for practically nothing. Yeah, I might um, start back up a series with that as well. So I just wanted to show you guys um, weekly. I will show you what the prices are in my area. If you could leave a comment below and let me know what the prices are in your area. I'm kind of curious of how different areas are. I'm in southeastern North Carolina. So, and like I said, this is just stuff at my local closest store. I know I can go to Walmart and probably get these for a few cents cheaper. But if you stop and think about it with the gas and the time, it's better just to check out things that are closest to you. Besides, I enjoy supporting the pig. Yeah, they have been very good to their community during this pandemic. Anyway, um, always food storage, guys. If you don't have it, we all know we don't need it now. We just that's what it is. But anyway, hope you guys are having an awesome day. Thank you so much for stopping by the pantry prepper. Remember, food storage doesn't matter how you get it, when you get it, where you get it, just get it for uncertain times. We're there. You guys have an awesome day, and thank you so much for stopping by.